It is a peace that surpasses all understanding, a peace that empties forth from the collective consciousness of this universe. If you simply allow yourself to be one with its energy and its essence, there's nothing very difficult about this. These shoes are soft and comfortable. They are not wooden and hard and difficult to walk in. And you know this path, my friend, for you've walked it on many occasions. You have been to the mountaintops. You have been through the deserts. You have swum the seas and the oceans and the freshwater lakes, rivers, and streams. You have been among the rocks, been among the soils, been among the growing crops. You've had lifetimes where you farmed these crops, milled the grains, and created the bread with your own hands, baking it up in a clay-fired oven, so as to heal others with the glory that rises forth when you combine your own energies in such a way as to provide sustenance to others. And that divine gift, that manna from the heavens, reaches down now as it is tangibly able to be experienced in this moment with your own reconciliation of all these different pathways of seeking, Sometimes you assign yourself too many goals, too many ambitions, and it's okay to come to a grander scope where you can just accept yourself for who you are and for how you've been, and move on to the next step. Don't take yourself under such a microscope. Some of those goals were formed from a time that you hadn't fully awakened spiritually, so that you now can understand that you can simply be yourself. You can just be. And beingness is enough. For in your beingness, in the radiant peace of simply being you, you have fulfilled all of the conflicts, you have satisfied all of the dangling question marks, and you know the future, because it is the present. It is the now. This process of ascension we so often speak of need not be far away from you. You can but stretch forth your hand and experience it in this moment. The healing energy is available in plentiful abundance for all those who would seek it. And that process cannot be undermined. It cannot be shortchanged. It is always and ever omnipresent. And it is available for you. So take a few moments as you hear these words to let yourself have some deep breaths. Feel the gratitude for the earth. Feel the gratitude for the sacred places where the earth's energies have been honored with ancient structures and ancient peoples who worked in harmony with this creation. You are the new tribe. You are coming together, each in your own way, with the awakening body of humanity that will occupy this new world that is forming. And you need not be fearful about it. You need not allow your emotions to be clouded and muddied up by the worry that plagues so many others. For all is happening on schedule. All is happening according to a perfect plan. And as you breathe your own ascension through every fiber of your being, you come to a greater and greater consciousness of the full capacity that you have to accept yourself just as you are in the glory and in the beauty and in the wonder that makes you truly yourself. And that self is with a capital S, because ultimately you are not anything other than one with this entire cosmos. Even the energy of the cosmos is conscious, and it fuses with you. There is no separation. For us, we cannot see it any other way. In your own realm, you have the opportunity to experience apparent separation feel lonely, isolated, and abandoned. But this is but a fleeting moment in time. It is a moment that can be transcended when you just allow the peace to empty forth and fill you with the renewal, fill you with the promise of who you were always meant to be. And that is such a glorious thing, such a glorious event, that there is nothing but 
wonder in its realization. We are so very grateful to have had the opportunity to share these messages of peace and hope with you this day, and want to trust that this will always be remembered, that you may always know that you are loved more than you could ever possibly imagine. If you share that with us, then you have assimilated a very significant percentage of the entire message. We thank you and remind you that you are loved more than you could ever possibly imagine. Peace be with you in the light of everlasting love. We will now return conscious control of this physical body to the one known as David. And we thank you. Adonai. And Amen. <laughs>